Yeah, what's going on everybody? Hey, it's Cornbread Trucker. I am sitting here at my 90. Uh, just got uh, just got unloaded, um, did my uh, trip paperwork, uh, got it all sent in. Um, so I'm just kind of sitting, waiting for my next dispatch. Uh, but talk about this load. You know, this was a, a four drop load. It was originally supposed to be three. One pickup, three drops. And um, fleet manager did warn me that this shipper uh, will add extra stops or take extra stops. So there was one extra stop. Um, and so uh, they've got that all straightened out. I got, you know, to get paid for that. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not a fan of uh, preloaded flatbed trailers. A drop, what, what, what you'd call drop, drop and hook and reefer. Yeah, we drop her empty, but a lot of times my tarps are strapped onto my flatbed, you know, my empty flatbed. Uh, I have to take those off. Not a big deal. Uh, place them generally on my on my catwalk and uh, find my loaded trailer and uh, generally, you know, maybe put some tarps back up on that trailer. So a little bit of work there. Plus, uh, when, when you've got to pick up a preloaded flatbed trailer, you still got to secure it and you may even need the tarp it. So, um, this particular load, um, they had already covered it in plastic. It was loaded, they put plastic on it. They kind of pulled it tight. I didn't really like the way they pulled that plastic. They had some between some conduit and another stack of conduit to the back. They had some pallets uh, with some boxes on them and trying to get you know an 80 pound tarp over to the higher stack um, when you've got uh, plastic that's just kind of coming down at an angle instead of dropping down the side of the conduit and over they you know they just pulled it tight and i don't blame them for doing that but it made my job a little harder plus it had rained um and so the plastic was all wet um the product was dry but the plastic was wet uh, so when I laid my tarps down over the top of that, then, you know, it wasn't raining at the time, but everything was wet. So the other bad thing about that, it was dark. It's already covered. I could not see where the stops were at. Uh, fortunately, uh, I was able to identify uh, the product on the bill of lading. Uh, the conduit that was to the back because of the size of it. So I was able to figure that out I was able after the first drop get rid of one of the tarps uh, but then you got to tarp it back up or strap it and tarp it and just go it's a back and forth game and you, I had four drops so however everything went really smooth the stops weren't too far apart everything was relatively easy to get to all the customers were really good and that's one thing I want to say on the flatbed side of things is I think there's more courtesy and more respect uh, for drivers for flatbed drivers and I, I mean I don't know if it's because they know you work but they do see you working I mean they know that when you're taking those pulling tarps and taking straps off and winding stuff up or retarp and they they know you're out there working and you know and you you've got to kind of enjoy that kind of stuff because this would get aggravating because it's not really more money it's about the same or sometimes you get a little bit more maybe because of, of tarps but i don't think the tarp pay is really worth it um so you kind of got to want to do this job you got to be a person that wants to you know do some extra work um i will tell you my attitude is a lot better uh since coming to the flatbed side and a lot of that has to do one i've got my exercise bike i can get some exercise you know when the weather's bad um and sometimes i just don't like the area where i'm at i don't busy trek stop or what whatever not really a good place to walk so i can just get on the bike and getting that exercise helps but also just the fact that i have a physical uh job a phys some physical activity going on when i'm when i'm loading and unloading um you may not feel it at the time but uh, you know over a little period um 
you just feel better and your attitude is better and so you know there's definitely moments that the work's probably not worth it but when the benefit that you receive emotionally and physically uh, does make it well worth it so you know if you're on the reefer side and you're thinking about maybe coming the flatbed those are some things to think about um, you know in this time of year is something to think about too I mean this I may have came probably at the wrong time of year but I was just ready, ready to make that move I needed that physical activity I knew it um, you know and everybody's kind of hurting right now I spoke to a prime driver the other day uh, ran into him at the truck stop he was at the counter and we were talking a little bit you know and he, he said he's doing a lot of setting and I know before I switched there was there was a lot more setting and just time that I had to make deliveries um, and picking up loads there was just a lot of a lot of time setting it and it really wasn't for me as a trainer really wasn't worth it as a trainer except you know I enjoy training I help I, I enjoy helping somebody get started in this career especially when it's something that can really impact their lives in a positive way financially uh, and you know some people it does impact their lives financially but just the the, the, the time away um, you know they just find that it's not for them uh, some people will do their one year and then try and get that local job I don't blame them everybody's got to do what works best for you but it, it was rewarding to train but at the same time when you're training you know you got to make money you don't want it to dig into the money that you would have been making at least what she's making as a solo so um, I have been putting some you know when I switched over wasn't sure if I if I wanted to train again or not I am starting to kind of feel like uh, I probably will I do want to get uh, get this kind of down uh, you know I I see my improvements but I still make mistakes uh, I had some tears in my tarp um, and it comes back loaded in the dark kind of windy uh, everything was wet I put some blankets down but I you know trying to get something done probably a little too fast didn't realize that some blankets had, had slipped and uh, wasn't covering what I needed them to cover tore, tore my tarp I, this one tarp I think I'm gonna retire it I'm just gonna one metal tarp I've, I've, <laughs> I've got some patches on it um, I'll probably just retire it but I don't want to do that quite yet uh, I'll just mix put some more patches on it till I feel that I've uh, learned my lesson keep in mind I did not go out with the flatbed trainer uh, all I did was the securement class uh, because I had driving experience and so I didn't get some of the training that um, and shortcuts and things that uh, you know most people coming into flatbed that had never driven before yet so uh, I'm learning on the fly and um, but but I'm like I said I'm enjoying it I'm happy and uh, and I'm really looking help, uh, forward to going home um, here in a few days and that's something nice about the flatbed side is you know really our industry here a lot of it is construction and so um, you know it slows down at Christmas time and manufacturing you know we do a lot of manufacturing stuff and a lot of plants shut down do their cleaning um, inventories I know when I worked in aircraft, you know, we shut down for Christmas, um, from Christmas through the New Year, you know, we'd have about 10, 11 days off generally in a row, and that was always nice. Um, so that happens in our industry, which, you know, affects the product, so it's probably better. I don't know that everybody needs to go home. I know there's, I'm sure there's freight to run. I'm not 100% positive on that how much freight there would be I would suspect that there is again I am I'm still new to this flatbed thing and uh, but I'm loving it and so if you're thinking about coming to prime and, and getting the maybe flatbed that's something to think about 
um, if you're on the reefer side thinking about making that switch the other thing to remember is you know you have a lot of uh, equipment that you need to purchase uh, and prime is really good you know as the ones that work for prime you know um, you know they, they have a, a, a process for you to purchase that where you don't get hit with uh, all of that but probably looking about Depending on whether you go new or used, if you go new, you know, you're probably looking at about five thousand dollars worth of stuff, um, you know, right in there. And there may be some things that you buy outside of Prime, um, and so you know, it, I think they're taking about a hundred dollars a paycheck out uh, on that. Uh, so it takes some time to pay off, um, but. It, it's definitely been rewarding as far as the health and um, the mental state. So just some things again to think about. I'm grateful that this load turned out the way that it did. I wasn't uh, positive about it. I, I'm not big fans of multiple stop loads and specifically ones where I've got to untarp and then turn around and tarp again. Strapping don't take very long, you know, securing a load necessarily but you know it takes a little bit more time to tarp maybe i'll get better at that eventually maybe i'll come across the flat better that will maybe give me some advice and feel free to comment uh on these uh, on this and uh i'd be glad uh for any advice that somebody may have but i do that's another thing is i do find that flat betters do help each other but more often than um reefer side a little more cordial um, so that's it we're over that 10 minute mark uh, so I'm gonna jump off of here uh, yeah I got the truck idling for a moment I was hot just getting in the truck it's humid so it's just kind of cool and all um, so uh, that's it I'm gonna jump off you guys have a great day um, feel free to like and subscribe um, if you're not at Prime and interested, come in the Prime and would like to use my driver code. That's D A V O R V. I will put that in the uh, description. Um, that's something that I need to get better at doing is is uh, putting that information there. Uh, but uh, feel to feel free to reach out to me if you have questions. Uh, you feel free to message me. We'll talk. Have a good one.